Senator Stabenow. Yes, thank you, Senator Schumer. Um, Tomorrow, as we know, the President's going to deliver his State of the Union address. And, you know, when we think back three and a half years, this President inherited a mess. Schools were closed. We were trying to figure out how to keep people safe. Too many deaths, too many people in the hospital because of COVID, small businesses uh, on edge. There was such a crisis in our country. And we saw them lean in specifically caring about people, putting people first every single day. And so where are we now, three and a half years later? Under the President's leadership, and I'm so proud we partnered with him, we've created, as Senator Schumer said, nearly 15 million jobs. That's the most of any President in their first term. 15 million jobs nearly 272,000 of those in clean energy. I can tell you in Michigan, where we do clean energy manufacturing, you know, we make things and grow things in Michigan. And we are at the heart of what we are seeing in terms of a manufacturing renaissance. And it's really exciting. We've got 46,000 projects across the country rebuilding America around infrastructure, 46,000 new projects. We're rebuilding America, and we're including things like high-speed internet as part of infrastructure. That has never been done before. The truth is, we are rebuilding America, bringing jobs home, and investing in our own people. And that's why wages are up, the stock market is up, the number of new businesses being created is up. And the things that need to be going down are starting to go down. Prescription drugs and the pricing of prescription drugs being at the top of the list. We have heard forever about how somebody needs to take on the drug companies. Well, Joe Biden did. The Democrats in the House and the Senate did without one Republican joining us in doing that. And as we know, Republicans still are on the side of the wealthy and well-connected. Let me just remind folks that when they did their tax bill, the drug companies got a 40 percent cut in their taxes. That's what they did. We're giving people a cut in their insulin costs, in their cancer drugs, in the medicines that they need to stay alive and thrive. So the bottom line is Democrats are putting people first and as the President will talk about tomorrow night, we're just getting started.